So we are on our way to Lake Inlay, but we stopped to see this, uh, let's just call it Stupa City, because uh, it has a lot of these Buddhist stupas. And it is interesting, the oldest ones like these, they're about 500 years old. Uh, the oldest ones in Myanmar are about 2,600 years old. But, but these are the oldest ones here. And the thing is, for example, this one here, this has been uh, renovated. And uh, it, it really just looks like a modern uh, uh, building work, building material, building uh, method. Uh, when these were, uh, you know, just bricks. And uh, there has been some controversy with, for example, in Bagan, UNESCO was there to, they wanted to help them to rebuild some of these uh, stupas. But uh, you have to understand the mindset. They have no... The, the Myanmar people, the Buddhists, they have no real interest in archaeology. They just need these stupas to to stay up for 5,000 years. And some of them have, haven't been like 2,600, so they, they have a while to go. But, but the way it was built, or the uh, original handiwork, doesn't really mean anything. It's just they just fix it again and again and again with for as little money as possible for 5,000 years then it doesn't matter anymore so because of these uh, well different purposes if you will the UNESCO withdrew from that but apparently they came back like two months ago in Bagan and uh, with some conditions on uh, how to restore, how to, how to uh, rebuild this stuff. But you can see like here, let me turn around. This is just like brand new stupas, you know, if I, and it, this really looks like a, like a stupa store. If I needed a stupa for my backyard, this would be the place to go and, and shop for one because it's just it's just new, looks new. And uh, I haven't seen many places that has so many in a, in, a, in that condensed area, but uh, each stupa here is like one family built this stupa for their like a, their uh, meditation place, their stupa. And uh, why so many here on this particular place? Because it's considered sacred ground. So they just stack them as many as they uh, can. However, it's right at the lake. So uh, here you can see the river. We are sailing on these boats up to Lake Inlay. So during the rainy season, this gets flooded. So to here at least and uh, so this is underwater so this is not accessible year-round after the rainy season it's not access sex uh, accessible but uh, it is a really interesting place and let me show you one thing which is kind of cool uh, what happens if nobody takes care of his stuba, then just nature takes over. And uh, this is a stupa and uh, this tree is just hugging it to death, I would say. This stupa might be beyond rescue. Love and hand the rich one. We shall have found by you. The rain, the white 
this girl will teach you the ways of true love A thief will sneak through the flow And here you can see they are runawaying one of the scoopers and uh, this is exactly what UNESCO didn't like. The, they're just uh, putting cement on the old material. They will take the top of this stupa because it's too difficult to uh, repair. And, uh, and uh, for what I see, they don't even bother cleaning the old bricks. It's just uh, little dirt and little grass that just put cement over it because like I said, the mentality is not to preserve. They just want this to last for 5,000 years. So around all these stupas, uh, over there's a town. It's uh, inhabited by the Shen people. And uh, these, these stupas are in the heart of like a, like a monastery. Like a, here's one monastery. Over there is another one, but that kind of collapsed. Well, it didn't kind of collapse, it collapsed. Everything but the center where Buddha is. A miracle. I think so. And uh, over here is the, uh, the well. For water. This is, a lot of tourists come here to see these stupas. These are famous stupas. But uh, having said that, there were a few people when we came, but now it's like, yeah, there's at least I'm, I'm not seeing anybody. You know, here's a, uh, another temple, and uh, there is. There's, uh, there's the rooster, and I'm trying to. There, you know, there are snakes here, and 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 not the nice kind. The uh, I think the most famous one is called the uh, the Burmese viper. It's yellow, and it's not my friend. With very limited amount of money are located to uh, keep up and restore these uh, temples and uh, because there's a lot of it you know here's another one uh, there's another one over, over, over here's another one you know and this is just here and this is everywhere in Myanmar uh, all these all these places and uh, with limited money we have to, they have to restore this and keep it up. It's no wonder that uh, it is kind of... Yeah, it is... Hello! In Laba. No wonder that it is, uh, yeah, well, deteriorating quite fast. But uh, to get something from these tourists, they have these stands with uh, local handmade stuff it's really cheap and i do recommend if you come here or any place like that you are not supporting any major company or uh, you're just supporting local people by buying them and it's like i said it's very cheap it's handmade it's cool stuff and here we are again in Stupa city, so it's not a huge area, but a lot of history here condensed in this small area. But now, like I said, we're on our way to Lake Inlay, so let's get on the boat and continue that journey. Birds outside my window I pray, oh, oh Lord Put a, put a heart song on me 
They ain't waking up in the morning They ain't blue Still they can't see Oh, oh, oh. 